Deep Sea Wonders of the Pelagic Zone. Sea is an endless beauty to enjoy with an open eye. The roar, the wind, and the majestic aura never fails to mesmerize us. But there are certain things deep in the dark as you go deeper, the sea surprises you more. And today we'll talk about the mysterious Pelagic Zone. Stick to the end of the video to know more details about it. Hello and welcome back everyone. Before we start, subscribe to the channel to get more videos like this, and don't forget to press the bell icon. Having said that, let's begin. It's a fact that there are still some regions of the planet that we haven't fully explored, even in the 21st century, and the majority of those places reside in the deep sea. Just take a moment to realize how big the oceans are, and how much has yet to be scanned, mapped and recorded. Fortunately for us, the pelagic zone is one of the things which is quite easily recognized. A zone in an ocean that is neither near the coast nor at the bottom is said to be in the pelagic zone. The term pelagic zone refers to the open, unrestricted waters far from the coast where marine life can swim unrestrained by topographical restrictions in any direction. The word pelagic comes from the ancient Greek, which means open sea. Coastal waters are often epipelagic, which are relatively shallow, with a total area of 1,330 km cubed. The pelagic zone has a mean depth of 3.68 km and a maximum depth of 11 km. And as the depth deepens, pelagic life reduces. The pelagic zone can be visualized as a hypothetical cylinder or water column that lies between the ocean's surface and its bottom. With increasing depth, the water column's characteristics vary as well. Salinity, oxygen, and micronutrients, including iron, magnesium, and calcium, all undergo changes, as do pressure, temperature, and light. Moreover, the pelagic zone can be divided into subzones based on depth, such as the abyssopelagic, which is closer to the bottom, where there is no light, and the epipelagic, towards the top of the zone, where light is still found. Because life behaves extremely differently in each of these zones, scientists primarily do this categorization. As you descend further into the ocean, the amount of light decreases, creating drastically different living circumstances for marine life. Furthermore, the epipelagic, mesopelagic, bathypelagic, abyssopelagic, and hadopelagic subzones are the five levels that make up the pelagic zone. The first zone, sometimes referred to as the euphotic zone, stretches from the water's surface to a depth of 200 meters. The pelagic zone's most explored and well-known area is this one. The majority of the fish and mammals that we are most familiar with live in this area of the ocean. The food chain in this layer is built on the photosynthetic plankton. All kinds of plants, including oceanic flora, can flourish in an area that receives direct sunlight. Plankton, marine algae, and even mangroves are some of these plants. These plants already have altered body structures that enable them to float in the area. Additionally, because of their unique capacity for photosynthesis, they also provide food for marine species. Phytoplankton forms the basis of pelagic ecology. Through the process of photosynthesis, phytoplankton produces their own nourishment. They live in the upper, sunlit epipelagic zone, which includes the coastal or neurotic zone because they require sunlight. In the deeper zones, beneath the epipelagic zone, dissolved oxygen levels drop, the water pressure rises, the temperatures drop, food sources become scarcer, and light levels drop until they eventually vanish. As a result, there is a noticeable decline in biodiversity. The photic zone stretches from the ocean's surface to a depth of typically 200 meters, where light levels are too low for photosynthesis. This is comparable to the epipelagic zone, and occasionally the two are compared as being the same. The epipelagic is further separated into oceanic waters and coastal or neuritic seas found over continental shelves. Several distinct things can have a big impact on how deep this zone is. It is also known as the euphotic zone, and it is where all the creatures that depend on light for energy, as well as some others depend on these species for survival may be found. This comprises various sea creatures, as well as plants, bacteria, and algae. Some locals have evolved incentive adaptations like pigments that improve their ability to use sunshine to enable them to endure environments with less light. Aren't they amazing? Tell me what you think about this world in the comments below. That's it for the day, guys. We hope you liked the video. Please click the like button if you did. And if you're new here, make sure you subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification bell. Thank you for watching.